And the last thing I wanted to raise, and in, in, in some ways this is to push the most difficult button. There's a, <laughs> I, I make references to horrible movies that my wife has never seen, but there's one called Men in Black I've watched 10 times, <laughs> and probably every man in here. I, mean, I don't know, women may watch this too, uh, about men who are in the business of a secret police force to fight aliens from outer space, and they dress in black suits, m better tailored than this. And, and there's a line in there that says, don't touch the button, don't touch the button. It's in his supercar, and the guy touches the button, and the car flies upside down through tunnels and all kinds of things. So the button is ethnicity in Singapore, and the EIP in, uh, in particular. And one of the things that um, I, as a foreigner, and we travel around quite a bit, I always become nervous in places where ethnicity and religion are stamped on national identity cards. Because uh, as a student of race and ethnicity for many decades, one of the things that I begin to think is as soon as you do that, you reify, you turn into stone or you make essential something, an identity that was contingent an identity that was contingent on a time and place originally, but maybe makes much less sense in the third generation of people who are now stamped with that um, identity. Maybe even begins to make less sense when you have a lot of intermarriage and go through contortions of what the identity of the new couple will be, much less of their rights to HDB resale housing or new housing. Maybe there's a time to start to rethink what the balance should be between not just tolerating, but respecting ethnic and religious differences and creating a unified Singapore citizenry. And that if you think ahead to a, the next 50th anniversary, that is the 100th anniversary, what do we imagine we would want Singapore to look like and Singaporeans to feel like, who are the very new, uh, uh, permanent residents of today uh, who have come with accents and with identities, what do we want them to feel like? Uh, what do we want their grandchildren to feel like who are university graduates? How do we want them to identify? So that's the last of the difficult questions and I think this is a question that also is going to have to be addressed as Singapore stays more and more committed to being not just competitive, perhaps global, but just. Thank you.